Dr. Yoni Friedhoff runs a health and nutrition center in Ottawa. He's been called Canada's nutritional watchdog. How will you describe some of the marketing tactics companies use to get people to buy their stuff? Well, they'll use anything and everything that they can to try to convince consumers that what's in those packages is health food. How successful do you think the marketing is? I think it's extremely successful. Every aisle of the supermarket is preying on us. They're preying on our psychologies. They're preying on our beliefs. It's not fair. Let's start with the first meal of the day, a popular breakfast item, Nutella. You know, the one that's spreading the message that breakfast loves Nutella. Knives, spoons, fingers, and cheeks. Made with roasted hazelnuts, breakfast loves Nutella. Precious Chong's family loves it too. Her nine-year-old son Jack eats this sweet treat three times a week. He's nuts for Nutella. Delicious. She first ate the stuff as a child in Europe and says now it's a staple in her home. When you're serving Nutella for Jack in the morning, how much do you give him? Mm, like between a teaspoon and a tablespoonful in his uh, oatmeal. Do you know anything about the ingredients of Nutella? Mm, I know it's like hazelnuts and sugar. Any idea how much sugar is in there? I don't know. The manufacturer says it can be part of a balanced breakfast. But is Nutella really a good way to start the day? What do you think of this product? Well, I think that it is spreadable candy. Candy? Why? Well, basically everything you spread on that piece of bread will be sugar. So just how much sugar does Nutella pack? It says each serving is one tablespoon, so I'm going to just Get a tablespoon of this, and that has 11 grams of sugar. Okay, here we go. Nutella, really, it's a bit of whey powder, so we'll put some whey powder, and uh, it's a bit of skim milk powder, so we'll put that too. Some cocoa powder, we've got cocoa powder, and now everybody knows there's hazelnuts in there, but I don't know if everybody knows that there's only two and a half hazelnuts in that tablespoon. And then there is just shy, one gram shy, of three teaspoons of sugar. That is a ton of sugar on my toast. It is a lot of sugar on your toast. And, you know, a lot of people, they say, well, you know, we know it's not healthy, but I'm not sure people know just how much this actually is. All that sugar in just one serving. And Friedhoff thinks people are eating more than that. The label, it's swimming in Nutella. I wonder if two tablespoons would make it look more like that label. And once you make it two tablespoons of Nutella, you're eating five and a half teaspoons of sugar. And that's not all. You've got another ingredient down there. What's that? I do. This is chocolate icing. You think there's a comparison? Well, in fact, there is less sugar, tablespoon for tablespoon, in this chocolate icing than in that Nutella. The company says it doesn't promote the nutritional value of Nutella. If you eat it with some whole grain toast, fruit, and milk, it can be part of a complete breakfast. But that's little consolation for our Toronto mom. In a serving of Nutella, which is a tablespoon, there are 11 grams of sugar. Wow. Do you know how much that is? No. It's almost three teaspoons. <clears throat> that's a lot of sugar. So basically, I'm giving a chocolate bar to my son for breakfast. <laughs> the fact that Nutella markets itself as a breakfast food, sells itself that way, and knowing how much sugar's in it, how do you feel about that? Oh, I mean, it's a sham. It shouldn't be a breakfast food. It should be like a dessert. The latest in a long list of unhappy Nutella fans. A couple of years ago, the manufacturer made national news in the US when it was sued for false advertising. They thought it was at least as nutritious as peanut butter, maybe a little bit more, and that was just the impression I got from um, the commercial. The company had to pay its customers $3 million. They may have tweaked their advertising to tone down the impression it's healthy, but this sugar cop says it's still leaving a false impression. Why are companies allowed to market their products as though they're good for you? Companies are allowed to say whatever they can get away with saying. Now, they're like teenagers. Their job is to push the envelope, to see what they can get away with to sell as much product as possible. One of the slogans for this product is breakfast loves Nutella. 
Well, kids may love Nutella, and maybe breakfast does too, but I'm not so sure that health does. Let's put this one away. Indeed. <laughs>